we have a unique opportunity here in Ohio, particularly in the western side of the state and the northwestern side of the state, to observe the eclipse in a way that hasn't been there since uh, since the early 1800s. It's a unique experience that we can enjoy as a family and our, our, our school with our kids actually gave them the day off today to go out and see the eclipse. It's gonna turn dark. Turn dark, why? Why is it gonna turn dark? Because the moon covers the sun. Uh, how rare it is is one of the things that we've been talking about and um, how uh, it's gonna be a really long time before this happens again and to enjoy it, understand what's happening and uh, understand it's a very unique event. <laughs> I look forward to seeing uh, what it's going to be like, how dark it's going to get around here. I've had a place here on Indian Lake for almost 20 years and, and uh, you know, being with this uh, event with uh, Senator McCauley and my family and his kids and, uh, you know, other friends is, is, is just exciting uh, to be able to remember where we are at, uh, you know, when this happened. Here at Indian Lake and in Logan County, it, you know, it, it's just very fortunate. Um, uh, you know, after the tornado, many people are coming in, uh, spending the day, uh, spending two or three days here, uh, buying food, um, renting houses, uh, and things like that. It's it's very fortunate. You know, there's a, there was a lot of damage in the tornado, and this community is really going to be beneficial for, uh, for for the community going forward. We've had other eclipses before in the past that uh, that we've seen in, in my lifetime, um, but it's never been a total solar eclipse here in the state of Ohio, and so I've never taken part in one of those. So to me, that's the thing that's interesting, and for us, wanting to get as close to the center line as we can to have that moment for as long as we can in the uh, totality uh, will be an interesting thing.